Get that Galaxy S8 camera focus feature, even on a picture. I would say that that is cool. I think the picture is cool too. Hi everyone, MMA Android Guy here, and for today's technique, I installed the Galaxy S8 full port ROM inside my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. You could also install this inside the Note 5. And with that being said, let's get started. So some of the features that you might be interested in that you would like to probably know that do work from the from the get. Basically, Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works, the camera works, recording works, uh, texting and phone calls work, Bluetooth works, and 4G LTE works, but the mobile hotspot does not work. So you won't be able to use your phone as a hotspot. Battery life is not bad. I don't really didn't find it to be all that bad, but if you really want to improve the battery life on your phone, um, there's a couple things you could do. Just go to display and go to screen resolution and just lower the resolution on your phone. And that'll save you some battery life. Or you could just use the battery saver. That'll probably improve it as well. But if you don't want to use any of those things, you can get one of these uh, zero lemon cases slap your phone right in there and you instantly have 8,500 milliamps extra battery life on your phone the infinity wallpaper is really nice too if you can see the effects there of all the stars moving um, that being said you can also change the wallpaper view all those wallpapers here you get every single one uh, the one I have right now is actually my favorite but you can choose whichever one that you like the speaker sounds on here is excelente excellent uh, basically when you actually install this ROM it actually opens up the speaker here on the top so basically you're getting a stereo sound speakers when you're listening to music or YouTube or movies or whatever it is you're watching and you get more of a loud louder sound coming from your phone Which is pretty damn cool You also get the new Bixby here on the side when you swipe to the left Edge screen panel works well too, uh, same as the S7 Edge or the S6 Edge, except with this ROM, you get the Note 5 um, S Pen features. You could do smart select and make animated GIFs and things like that here with the Edge panel, which is awesome. Some of the animations look pretty cool too. like especially when you receive a text message like for example let me send myself a text message here you know, send and it should show up there on the top it will show there on the top and then it just disappears that's pretty cool I like how that how that looks on there and just to show you that Phone calling does work on here too. Uh, let me make a quick phone call and call myself. There we go. Phone calls work on here also. And that is pretty much it. Uh, installation is pretty simple. Um, I will leave in the link in the description of where to find all the files that you need and for everything or anything that it did not cover uh, how to do how to install the ROM and features that I didn't um, explain as well but 
first thing you're gonna need is to have twerp reco recovery here um, installed already um, like I said if I I'm not gonna show you how to install that but um, I will leave a link in the description on, as to where you can actually um, how to and where you can get the files to install it on here so first thing you're gonna want to do is um, download the files and store them into an external device like I have here you're gonna reboot into twerp by doing that just hold the, the home key the power button and the up and volume up button all at the same time as you as you're restarting and there we go now we're into twerp the first thing that I would do is I would make a backup so go into backup and just you know just swipe there and back up all your files before you go on and just in case you don't you make a mistake or you don't like the ROM and the next thing you're gonna do is do a wipe you're gonna wipe everything and delete everything that's on your phone I'm not gonna do this because I already have this installed so you're gonna go back and then you're gonna click install find the version that fits your phone and the one I have is the the one that worked for me was the Hong Loi Nougat Kernel V5 that's the one that you're gonna use you're gonna click on there and then you're gonna flash it you're gonna let that run uh, like I said I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to ruin everything that I have in there okay already and then after that because this is a uh, S6 Edge Plus, you're gonna need to install the Nougat VOL LTE, and you're gonna click on there, flash that as well after you're done installing the ROM, and you should be good to go. And once you're done flashing that, you, as soon as it reboots, you're gonna click back, and you're gonna go into download mode. So for example, as soon as you install that, you click reboot. So let's do let's go into reboot. You're gonna hold down the volume this time, home button and power button at the same time instead of the up volume button. Which will take you right into recovery. You're gonna see this here. You're gonna hit the volume up key, and which will take you right into the download mode. So what is in download mode? And this is the last and most important thing that you need to do in order for this thing to work believe me I tried a million times and this was what worked and this had to be done after tons of trial and error you got it plugged in um, choose AP find the file that actually uh, flashes you have to flash it with twerp so make sure you have twerp downloaded again I will leave all these links in the description so once you have it plugged in, you find the file, um, you click on AP, you find the file that you need, which is the twerp, which is going to be the latest twerp, and you're going to click open, which I already have it open, and all you're going to do is hit start, flash the ROM, and then you should be good to go. And ready to enjoy your Galaxy S8 on your Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my video, please leave it a, a thumbs up. Which this video took me a long time to do. Um, took me a lot of trial and error just to get this ROM to be installed in this, on my phone. Comment on the bottom. And as always, adios.